Hi everybody and welcome to English Grade 4. Today's lesson will be about endangered species and I hope that you will enjoy it. Our learning objectives for today's lesson are to Interpret the main idea of a visual document Interpret the main ideas and details of an oral text Identify animals' different types of habitats Place facts in the right sequence Identify and interpret main ideas and details in a written text Identify the meanings of words and use them in context Identify the correct plural forms of nouns and use them correctly. Identify cause and effect relationships. Animal habitats By the end of these activities, you will be able to identify animals' different types of habitats. Drag each word to its picture. Look at the answer. Focus on reading. Animals in danger by the end of these activities, you will be able to identify and interpret main ideas and detail in a written text. Read the story and answer the questions that follow. Animals in danger. What are endangered animals? These are animals that have become very few in number and are in danger of becoming extinct. Dinosaurs are an example of animals that have become extinct, however. They're not the only animals in the world that faced extinction. Nowadays, many other animals are facing serious danger and may totally disappear in the near future. What are examples of endangered animals? Pandas, gorillas, sea turtles, white dolphins, North Atlantic whales, the West African rhinoceros, and the Amur leopard are only a few examples of animals that are at risk of extinction. Think of giant pandas, for example. The black and white coat and the black patches around the eyes make the panda a very special animal. However, many people know little about this beautiful animal. It comes from southwestern China. It is also one of the shyest animals in the world. It spends most of its time eating bamboo. Pandas are actually very active. They are good at climbing trees and swimming. Unfortunately, pandas are now one of the rarest animals in the world. Based on a BBC report, 2023, there are only about 1,800 giant pandas left in the wild and around 600 of them are in panda centers, zoos, and wildlife parks. This means that they are endangered animals. What about gorillas? Gorillas are fascinating creatures that are very similar to humans. They show human-like emotions and behaviors in certain situations. They can even laugh. Female gorillas only give birth every four to six years. One female will give birth three or four times in her lifetime. According to a BBC report, 2020, there are only around 300 cross river gorillas left in the wild. Like many endangered animals, their extinction is mostly caused by hunting, habitat loss, and climate change. Choose the correct answer to complete each of the sentences below. Animals that are few in number are called, animals, unique, endangered, wild, extinct. Look at the answer. Animals that have totally disappeared are, animals, unique, endangered, wild, Extinct. Look at the answer. China is the original home of the sea turtle, rhinoceros, gorilla, panda.
Look at the answer. Focus on vocabulary by the end of these activities, you will be able to identify the meanings of words and use them in context. Drag each word to its definition. A. When forests are destroyed by cutting trees. B. When ice changes into water. C. A giant woody grass found in tropical areas. D. A person who studies science. E. When the environment is filled with waste and harmful substances. F. A wetland covered with water where plants grow. Look at the answer. Find the meaning of the word in bold. Dinosaurs are one example of animals that have become extinct and have totally disappeared, however, they're not the only animals in the world that have faced extinction. The process of a group of animals or plants existing in large numbers on Earth. The process of a group of animals or plants completely disappearing or no longer existing on Earth. The process of a specific group of animals or plants existing in small numbers on Earth. Look at the answer. Find the meaning of the word in bold. There are only about 1,800 giant pandas left in the wild and around 600 are in panda centers, zoos, and wildlife parks. This means that a panda is an endangered animal. A group of animals or plants completely disappearing or no longer existing on Earth is called endangered. A group of animals existing in small numbers on Earth is called endangered. A group of animals or plants existing in large numbers on Earth is called endangered. Look at the answer. Find the meaning of the word in bold. Countries and scientists around the world are working hard to save many endangered species. A bag of dangerous insects. A group of similar living organisms. A box of wild animals. Look at the answer. Find the meaning of the word in bold. When animals find no more food, they starve to death. Suffer or die from lack of food. Search for food. Prefer to die. Look at the answer. Focus on grammar. By the end of these activities, you will be able to identify the correct form of the plural nouns and use nouns in the plural. Fill in the sentences with the right plural form of the words in brackets. A. Sami ate a lot of candy this morning. This is unhealthy. B. Look at these two donkey under the tree. C. Sana likes to go to party. She's so active and full of life. D. Could you please peel two more, potato, I love french fries. E. The two, shelf, at the bottom are empty. You can place your books there. F. We could hear the, echo, of the lion's roar as we walked in the zoo. Look at the answer. Focus on writing, causes and effects. By the end of these activities, you will be able to identify cause and effect relationships, use connecting words that show causes and effects, and write a letter emphasizing causes and effects. Activity 1. Answer the following questions. 
Complete the sentences below by dragging the phrases to their correct places. A. The little boy is crying because. B. Mom couldn't go to work today due to. C. Hala exercises regularly. This is why. D. Susan burnt her fingers because. E. Nobody trusts Dima because. F. Amira practices singing every day, so. G. Nagi took his sister to lunch because. Look at the answer. Test your understanding. Complete the sentences with the right plural form of the nouns in parentheses. Look at the answer. Thanks for listening and goodbye.